In this demonstration, we will see how to search Euclid data in the QSAR Toolbox web client. When you open the web client, you are presented with this window and the search Euclid database function is available with the red button on the bottom left. After you select it, you have the possibility to input your search and to define the scope of the search. First, you can specify if you want to input the structure as a fragment or as an exact match, or if you want to use a cast number, EC number or a chemical name. Second, you can define the scope of your search in terms of databases. I have not imported any custom Euclid database, so the only one available is Sekarich, which comes with the toolbox installation. Then you can define the type of substances you want to search. If you want to look at both dataset and or dossiers, Ecarage all includes dossiers, so it will not matter if dataset is included or not. And finally, you can specify which section of the dossier to search. For those of you that are not familiar with Euclid, it could be a bit confusing to understand the difference between searching the identification section for the representative substance or the composition. But after this demo, it should become clearer. So to start, we can define the match, exact match of the formaldehyde structure. You can input by typing the smiles or you can also use the draw functionality. If I search for formaldehyde only in the representative substance, I should get one hit. And this result is the dossier of formaldehyde, where indeed formaldehyde is the representative substance. If I search for the same structure, but as a constituent, then I should find not only the dossier of formaldehyde, where formaldehyde is obviously one of the constituents, but also all other substances that in their dossier include formaldehyde as a constituent. In the search results, I have the links to the Euclid dossier and the substance in Euclid that matches the search criteria. However, this uh, function, these links do not work for the Ecarich database because you don't have the Euclid database behind Ecarich, but it will work if you have a custom Euclid database. While the link in the middle, which is only enabled for Ecarich data, links to ECA dissemination web page. And we will see that in the composition of this substance, formaldehyde appears as one of the constituents. Similarly, if I search for formaldehyde, not as a constituent, but as an impurity, I will see different search results where formaldehyde should indeed appear as an impurity in at least one of the compositions of the dossier. Finally, I would like to show you that you can also search not for the exact structure, but just for a fragment. As an example, I can search for isothiocyanate, and again, I'm just going to type the smiles because it's faster, but alternatively, I could draw it. I'm going to search for it as a representative substance. And then I will see all substances in a rich database that include this fragment. And when I click to visualize the structure, I can even see that this is a fragment of a bigger structure. Finally, I could search for structures in the test material section. Now, the ICA rich database has millions of test materials, so this search can be very slow. Furthermore, in the current version of the web client, when the hits are found, it is not specified in which endpoint study record the test material is found. So this functionality is uh, a bit limited in its use now, but we are going to improve it in the next release. Now we will see how to perform a Euclid search in the QSAR Toolbox desktop client. First, go to the input module under search, 
select the Euclid search. Select the database you want to search in. I don't have any custom Euclid database, so I can only select Ekarich, which comes pre-installed with the toolbox. Then, if you want to search the registered substance, you have to put the search criteria here. And you can again select either a fragment or an exact match, which is called the smiles here. I'm going to type the smiles of formaldehyde, but you can also draw it and perform the search. I see one result, which is the dossier of formaldehyde with the information. Alternatively, if you want to search for the same structure, but present in a constituent rather than registered substance, I need to add the component, select constituent here, draw the structure I want to search, specify that it is an exact match, and search. And now, in addition to formaldehyde, I also see the other dossiers where formaldehyde is one of the constituents. In the structure info, in the identity, I can also see the corresponding link from the dissemination website where I can see that formaldehyde is really one of the constituent of the substance identified by the tool. Or I can view the details to check within the toolbox itself the composition information of this substance and see that formaldehyde is one of the constituents. In the desktop client search, I can also specify more details such as the concentration range at which constituents in purity additives have to be present or specify one, more than one component at a time that must be present within the composition of the substance. Note that for these concentrations to work, the database that you import must have information on the concentration of the different constituents, which is not the case for Ekarich. Finally, I want to show you that in the toolbox desktop client, after you have retrieved the search results, you can also go to data and collect the data for the results you have found. If you are interested specifically to the rich data, you select only the ECA rich database, click on gather. You can select all endpoints or select which endpoints to read. And then you will see all different data for the substances that matched the query.